Hello, my name is Rajiv Singh Rathor. In this video, I'm going to show you a very small tip that how to create a password protected file, in fact, password protected zip file with Windows operating system. We can perform this job by using any third party application also. For example, WinRAR or WinZip, numbers of applications are there. But after Windows XP or Windows 2003 operating system, this feature is by default inbuilt with operating system. So let me show you how to do this thing. I have created a file here just to show you the practical. I have written some lines here. I'm going to compress and assign a password to this file. So what should be the process? Very first, let me show you the current size of this file. The size of this file is 12.7 KB and it is occupying approximately 16 KB space on your hard disk. So what to do, just right click on this file, select send to option and click on compressed or zip folder. So uh, it will create a new file here. Actually this is the compressed version of your old file. Now you can remove your old file because in this way we can save lots of space as well as we can assign a password. Right now if we try to open this file it will open by default. No password is required to open this file. So now let me add a password with this file. So do one thing. Just double click on it. Fine. Go to any blank space here. Any blank space. Right click and select this option. Add a password. Click on it and assign a new password. Okay. I repeat the same password okay now go to back and now your file is password protected try to read that file you can open the folder you can see the file but if we'll double click on it it will ask for the password if we'll try to copy this file from this particular folder to any other location again it will ask for the password so if I'll supply the same password I can see the contents now it's time how to remove this password. If you want to remove, just right click anywhere again in the blank space and click on remove password. Provide the same old password. And now you can open this file directly without any password. So this is the way how we can use this particular feature, this inbuilt feature to create a password protected zip file. Thank you.